In junior high, I won a scholarship to art camp for photography. I think I was most excited about the fact that the camp meant I got to travel a few hours away from home and spend a week with like-minded up-and-coming artists away from our parents. Oh, and girls. There were going to be girls there. It wasn't long after that camp that I put down the camera as a tool of self-expression, preferring instead to rely on brooding and a heavy emphasis on flannel to express myself. However, my appreciation for the art as an observer remains. To me, photography is the only art form that can tell the story, and hundreds of unspoken stories too. So it is with those eyes that I came across a photograph widely distributed two weeks ago. I was at work doing work stuff when it popped up on one of the cop news websites I follow. As a first responder, the photo stopped me cold, and at first it made me extremely sad. And then it made me angry. And then it inspired me. As a father, however, it absolutely crushed me. In the photo, there are two firemen standing on the back of an engine. Engine 813 of the Jopa Magnolia Volunteer Fire Department, to be specific. Though all you see of them are their turnouts, the one on the left appears noticeably younger. Even though he is the same height as the one on the right, he's skinnier, lanky really, as you might expect from a tall high school kid who hasn't filled out yet. The firefighter on the right has filled out. He looks strong and confident, even though you only see him from behind. He's in a nearly identical pose, but with broader shoulders and a V-shaped back, he has a different presence. At the bottom of his jacket is his name, Daly. The sky in the photograph is a dismal gray, one that I often forget exists in most of the country this time of the year for months on end. In Southern California, the only real equivalent we have are morning clouds we call the marine layer, which at times might require the wearing of pants. There are only two things about this photo that are unusual on first viewing. One is that an extra turnout hangs on a hanger from the back of the engine between the two firemen, as if left there on haste on the way to the call. However, the gravity of the photo sinks in when you realize that the American flag on top of the engine is tightly wrapped around a coffin. This photograph wasn't taken at a structure fire, or a medical, or a traffic accident. It was a funeral procession. The thinner, slight firefighter is 17-year-old Brian Daly. His big brother, 20-year-old Tyler, is on the right. At 17 and 20 years old, they're already members of the Jopa Magnolia Volunteer Fire Department. Having watched them on the news this past week, I'm certain they are indeed fine young men. Under that flag, on top of Engine 813, is the casket of their father, Senior Deputy Patrick Daly of the Harford County Sheriff's Office in Maryland. Senior Deputy Daly and his partner Senior Deputy Mark Logsdon were killed last week when they went to check the welfare of a transient who ambushed Senior Deputy Daly and then shot Senior Deputy Logsdon in the ensuing pursuit. This photo angers me for the obvious but underreported reason that six police officers were killed by suspects that week. Six in as many days. Murdered. In all of these, the suspect either ambushed the officers or initiated the attack. This photograph inspires me, however, because even with the knowledge of their dad's demise, these two are still choosing a life of service, one that will eventually put them in harm's way. The patriotism in this photo is on their backs, not just wrapped around their dad's coffin. It's going to be a heavy burden for them to bear at that age. This photograph crushes me because recently my seven-year-old asked me why I wear a vest and what's it for. I wasn't prepared to lay the truth on her, and I made something up. However, she is smart, and she's beginning to understand that people want to hurt me just because of the clothes that I wear at work. My daughter has a strong voice. It carries and serves her well on the playground, but it can drive us nuts when she's shouting a conversation at us from three feet away. So I was saddened last night when we were out in public with another officer and his wife when my daughter proudly and loudly noted that we were both police officers. Instinctively, I shushed her, Not for her volume so much, but the brazen announcement in public is a real threat to her safety and ours, even where we live. I could see the confusion on her face as to why such pride should be stifled. That's awful. She should be allowed to feel pride. There's nothing to be ashamed about. As a father, I can't imagine the pain Brian and Tyler are struggling with this week. That their father was taken from them with no valid explanation. There isn't one. 
In the natural order of things, they would eventually lay their father to rest as grown men, not the young men they were today when they buried their father. They've certainly grown up a lot this week. And despite all that, they donned their gear to escort their father home on the back of Engine 813. And now, I'm inspired again. <laughs>